In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a compare means hypothesis test. We have access to the 9 months academic salary of assistant professors, associate professors, and full professors in a college in the U.S. We are going to test if professors of lower rank earn lower salaries compared to those of higher rank. Let's load the data. The data has 397 observations and 6 variables. And we will mainly use rank and salary in this example. Before conducting the hypothesis testing, let's calculate the summary statistics for the salary of each rank. So we go to Explore, Select Salary, Group by Rank, and apply the default functions. Now you have the mean, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation of salaries for each rank. Next, I'm going to conduct the compare means hypothesis test. We first select rank, and then select salary as the numerical variables to compare across ranks. In the Choose Combinations box, select all available entries to conduct pairwise comparison across the three levels. We choose less than for the alternative hypothesis. We will still use significant level 0.05, so the confidence level is 0.95. The first two blocks of output show basic information about the test and the summary statistics that are similar to what we got from the Data Explore tab. In the final block of output, we can use p-values to make a conclusion. Since all p-values are less than 0.05, we reject each of the null hypotheses. The data suggests the associate professors make more money than the assistant professors. The full professors make more than assistant and associate professors. Please note the number of asterisks as an indicator for significance. When we click Show Additional Statistics, we can also get the 95% confidence interval. Because zero is not contained in any of the confidence intervals, we reject the null hypothesis for each evaluated combination of ranks. It is the same conclusion that we inferred from p-values. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps.